Hi, and we're live. Hi, guys. Um, hopefully, you can hear me. Let me see. Let me try this up a little bit. I'm not seeing green dots. Hey, hey, two people on. Hey, Adam, how's it going? I feel like it's been a while. It's been a while since I've gone live. As usual, kind of a getting ready with me. Also, um, while kind of musing through life. So I also posted this in the Facebook group, trying to be a little more active there um, because activity is healthy. All right, so today's topic is housing and financial independence and how housing affects financial independence. So it's obvious that it does, right? Hey, girl. Hey, hey, Roland. Oh, Jen, hello. It's a bunch of pounds. Hey, how's it going, Jen? Hope you're well. Roland, holy, good afternoon. Yes, indeed. Just hit 12.01. Yay, I'm so happy to have you guys here. So happy to be here. Um, it's been a whirlwind insane. So this is March 21st. Um, yesterday will be a month out. Tomorrow will be a month out. From when I got married. So I feel like things are nowhere near um, settled, but that's just going to be the nature of life right now. So housing is kind of on the forefront of my mind because um, trying to figure out, my husband and I are trying to figure out where, I still like saying that, uh, where we're going to live, how we're going to combine um, finances and what that's going to look like, like for life, our lives going forward. And Obviously, so obviously that's a big decision and that's a lot to sort of think about and talk about. So we know, I kind of know from my interest in personal finance that the top three things that, um, the top three expenses in most personal finance budgets are housing, food, and transportation, right? Those are the, the three things that everyone needs. Um, so if you can control those three expenses and keep them as low as possible, your journey to financial independence will be much quicker. Obviously, while keeping your income as high as possible. So knowing that, uh, that's kind of what, what I'm using as sort of a guiding uh, principle in deciding where to live, which is why I really want to live in Delaware. Um, my mom's house is in New Jersey and my husband oh, co-op in Manhattan and both of those places are, are extremely expensive and have extremely high costs of living um, I got ready like three hours ago but I'm already on ready so pardon me while I get a little bit more ready so knowing that um, housing transportation and food are three highest expenses what can we do now to lower them in order to um, improve our and shorten the time to financial independence the other factor, so obviously being financially independent and working toward financial independence and making that journey as short as possible is important for both of us. The other factor is just enjoying your life <laughs> and liking your surroundings and feeling comfortable and excited and nurtured in your surroundings. So that's important too, because you know you, you spend, especially working from home, how much of your your day in your surroundings, in your home. So that's another factor that we're certainly considering, and that's sort of what I'm musing over right now. That that's kind of all I have to say about housing um, at the moment. So that said. I guess I want to kind of consider that in the context of, I guess, greater, um, the greater economy on the whole and what's happening both globally as well as for me personally, because we live in a, a global economy and what's going on is, is affected by that. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how, what's most interesting um, during these live streams, whatever. Okay. Um, actually, and I think what I might do, because my goal for this week, I'll just kind of share that as well. So housing is kind of what I'm, what I've been thinking about lately, um, and how to make that work. 
so right now <laughs> I'll give you kind of a sneak peek. I mean, we're in um, Andre's dad's place. So he lives in Delaware and we stay with him. We've been up here the past two weekends with him. Um, so it's been nice. Yes, uh, Roland, we're looking actually, so that's a good question. Are we looking to buy or rent together? So together, obviously, yes, we're looking to do that um, together. We would be either open to, to both. We, we just looked at homes this weekend, which is why it's kind of something I'm thinking about. I would not mind renting first, especially moving to this new area, just to get an idea for the area and the communities and to not invest a whole lot into a building or home community until we know what the community's like. So I wouldn't mind renting for a little bit, actually. But obviously, the goal is to buy and to build that asset. So we're in the asset building phases of our lives. Excuse me. So that's another whole idea is this idea of asset building. And how do you best build assets? Is the best way to build an asset in your home? Or is it through investments? Um, I've been on Yahoo Finance a lot lately. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, interesting. So here's an article uh, from Financial Times uh, via Yahoo Finance saying, could housing crack before inflation does? Who the heck knows? But also for us, kind of wondering what, obviously it's a great time to sell. Uh, it, it's a good time to sell. The best time would, would have been kind of the end of last year, middle of last year, uh, because house prices just exploded. Um, and if you were in a position to take care, take advantage of that and have somewhere else to go, it's a great time to sell. Um, so he actually, because of Manhattan real estate, Manhattan real estate's always hot and it's always going to move, but it's kind of wondering when it's going to move best. So now is maybe not the best time for him to sell. Um, I don't have anything to sell. My mother has a home. <laughs> I have been helping her with that home. It is her asset, not my asset. So, uh, uh, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so if you guys didn't know, we do have a Facebook group. Um, it is private. I will put the link in here in the chat. That's the link to the Facebook group. So if you haven't joined, come join my Facebook group. Um, I'll approve you right away. Uh, Rowan Holland, what's weird is the interest rates are going up, but the housing prices aren't going down. Yep, because the inventory is still tight. Exactly. It's very true. <sighs> it just is. So it's like, oh, man, I wish we were in a better place to take advantage of the interest rates, but such is life. Um, we were last year, but not this year. Oh, uh, yes. So yeah, inventory is still super tight, um, for sure. Okay, so. Uh, so I've been trying again for you guys, if this, if you, this, I know the people watching, this isn't your first time watching me. Um, but if you don't know, I don't come from a finance background. I have been teaching myself about personal finance um, bit by bit. And I was in $17,000 of consumer loan debt, and I got rid of that over two and a half years, making roughly $30,000 a year. And that's my story. Um, now, so for the past 10 years, I had been single, living on my own, wanting to be married, wanting to be in a partnership. Um, and it took 10 years of searching after I came back from being overseas, uh, working overseas, uh, to, find, to, to find that partnership that I looked for. So how this relates to housing is overall housing and financial independence is that now, I guess now there are two people making this, making this decision and two people to kind of, I guess, consider. Um, and that, that's just, that just is. Um, so also still on the path to learning. So that's that's where I was going with that, yes. So in this article, and I will post the, uh, the article. So the article is, uh, could housing crack before inflation does? Uh, markets were pleased with the Federal Reserve interest rate hike last week. The founder of Investment House 
Washington Co. told the Financial Times he believes if, uh, inflation is approaching troubling levels, but the U.S. Central Bank will not be able to implement higher policy rates to contain it. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, um, so let me post the uh, Financial Times article. Is this a paid article? No, it's not, which is good. So, okay. That's the housing article. None of that means anything if if you don't have the resources to do what you want to do, right? It doesn't it doesn't mean anything. Um, drop me a comment. Let me know how your housing situation is affecting your own journey to financial independence. I would be um, I'd be interested to know that. Because whatever, interest rates can do whatever they want. If you have a pile of money, then you're not bound by it. I mean, you are affected by them, but you're less kind of less affected by them, which is not the case for me. One day, that's that's the goal. So up until now, how has my housing affected um, my financial independence journey? So interestingly, I got rid of all of my personal finance um, all of my consumer loan debt while I was living and working abroad. And for that, I um, paid for my own housing that was included as part of my, my work. Um, and I loved it. I loved the work that I was doing and the, um, the housing was perfectly adequate. So I had my own studio apartment. Um, oh, cool. Um, I am looking, Daryl, I just saw your, um, yay, right, Daryl, I see that you're following. I am approving your comment as we speak. Yes, uh, very exciting. Okay, cool. So how housing has affected, yes. Uh, there, uh, Roland Holland, any time is a good time for real estate. It's very forgiving over a longer period of time, it seems. Would you want to buy a turnkey house or something to paint or something with some paint might work? Yeah, so that's a good question too. We were actually, so we've been looking casually for about two years, a year and a half. Not my favorite thing because we both love land and we both would love to have um, a lot of land with ideally our dream house on it. That's the goal um, because land, I, I love, I just have always really liked land and space and being secluded, but not cut off from the world. So that's the dream goal. However, and we've been looking at, um, houses that had a lot of land but needed a ton of work. I'm talking houses that were like last updated in the 70s, but like turn of the century built that needed a, a ton of work. So it's a balance, right? Just recently this weekend, we visited new builds and that was the first time that we were like, oh, like we could live here. We could move in and we can live here. It'd be great. So that, that's a good question, <laughs> Daryl. Oh, sorry, Roland, uh, in, in, in answer to your question. We're open. Uh, the budget bounce. Yes, we used to have a very reasonable mortgage and it helped us move faster toward our financial goals. Yes, that's 100%. If you can control that and get a good, reasonable mortgage, it's fantastic. Um, it will be a huge help. Daryl, I, I bought five rentals last month and they were as expensive as seven bought earlier in the year. Wow, that is very interesting. Were they comparable? I'm assuming they were comparable to the five to the seven bought earlier in the year. Yeah, that's about what it is, right? It's about five to seven um, as far as the ratio goes. Oh, Daryl, I got info from your school, by the way, and um, with the, the MBA program, I had been meaning to respond. It took them a couple of days to get back to me. I, so Daryl is a professor at, um, I forget the name of your school. I have to look it up but they do have a very, very reasonable um, MBA program. So yes, awesome. Yes, Fayetteville State, yes, that's the one. So yes, Daryl, so you, I think you can request to be added. Let me see if I can, you know what? I should just make it public. I will just make my group public. Why would I make it private? Because I don't want spam. Um, that hasn't really been a problem so far, spam. Um, okay, everybody, let's please learn from Daryl. <laughs> Professor Daryl, Dr. Daryl. Uh, yes, yeah. okay. Um, class is in session. All righty, let me see notifications. All right, I will work on that later, making my group public. 
Um, because again, that's that's my goal is to um, share the education that I've got and to to create, I guess, company and community for people who are working. Well, that word community for people who are working toward financial independence. Um, to know that no matter where you are, <laughs> no matter where you are, you can um, move forward. So yes, Roland Holland. Um, 100% owning our first primary over the years helped. Um, the mortgage ended up way smaller than rent in the area. So we were able to save for another primary turning the first one into a rental this year. Yay, Roland, that's awesome. Great job. Very, very exciting. Um, Daryl probably knows better than me though. Five rentals in one month is better than one rental over two years. You know what? We are all on our own journeys. We are working at our own paces. We're all walking our own our own paths, right? Um, okay. I'm still working on this group, guys. I'm trying to make it um public to everyone okay so i'm sorry guys i'll I'll work on it later um daryl bratt no don't yay so how is being married danny walker hello danny um also did work index your salary yeah by 3.5 percent so danny I'm, I'm guessing you um for anyone who doesn't know about indexing your salary that's they just adjust your salary up to deal with cost of living yeah but i work for a fairly i would say small we just became a publicly traded company in the summer of 2020 and it's not huge um it's not huge so what they did for everyone was just to give a base increase of i think it's 3.75 percent to everyone which is kind of weird but okay um so that was great and i'm i appreciate that um okay so how is being married being married is awesome so I, I say that first. <laughs> I once heard that being married is like going from a black and white TV to a color TV, and that's 100% what it is. Nothing has really changed in the mechanics of our relationship. It's still the same as it was, but in me, I because we've known each other for, for three years, and we kind of worked through a lot to get to the point where we could be married, and I think we worked through a lot there, and it was like a lot of incremental changes along the way. But now for me, knowing that like this is legal, like we are, we are, um, we're legally married and that we had the, the party and the ceremony that, that meant a lot. So it's awesome. Um, I love it. So I love it. And nothing has really changed. Um, other than that, now we're looking to make life decisions together. Um, I do, I am in the process of changing my name legally. So that's um, something I'm working on. So legally and profession so professionally, I will still keep my maiden name. I'm not going to change my work email. But if I do change jobs or get a new email, I will use my new name, which is exciting. Um, they're all batting to roll and my rentals are less expensive than Roland. Yeah, and where you are in the country, that varies tremendously. Like your your location is huge as far as how much you spend. Um, I will say for being married, I'll have to ask him, but I, I would say that he agrees that we just spend more I'm spending more being married because there's more traveling just because we're we're visiting his family which I love to do but there's just more travel um and it's my car he doesn't own a car um because he lives in Manhattan I wish he uh <laughs> yay Adam hurrah you asked to join my group so you figured out how to do it um Daryl there is a way to ask to join um fabulous so Adam I just approved your request to join um let me see if I can, oh, man, this is gonna, bugging me. I'm going to see if I can edit the settings to make this group public so you don't have to ask to join. So I'm spending more in gas, in vehicle maintenance, and in food. So again, transportation and food. Um, and this is, I, I don't know what the word, it's, it's a, a bugaboo, it's a, a thorn, I guess, the whole house or the whole food um, issue. Someone was like, imagine marrying a woman who refuses to cook. And I'm like, who is that woman? If it was not me, I, I cook all the time. It's um, harder to do with um, A, with so much travel and B, being in someone else's home. So we are staying in his dad's home. And I, so we've 
pretty much been staying here every weekend and it's harder to cook in someone else's house. It just is. And to, to me, it kind of, my husband's place still feels like his place. So it's harder to cook there. Um, that will change. And I'm working on changing that. And I'm working on recipes that we both like. That's kind of early married struggles. Um, that's just how it is. So I'm working on that. And that will that will update. Ah, privacy. Okay, so sorry, I found it. Uh, privacy. Let me update this to see. Oh, I don't know if I can update this. I will Google it. <laughs> James Facebook group. Um, private select. Can I do that? What? Oh, it's awful. Private groups can't change to public to protect the privacy of group members. Fine. Okay. Fine. So I can't change it. Good to know. Okay. So there's a groups tab at the top of the. Oh, yes. Thank you, Adam. There's a groups tab at the top of the page where you request to join. So for anyone who wants to, you can request to join. I can't change the privacy settings. I guess makes sense. So, um, oh, food, yes. So increasing costs. And I don't think it's, I know it's not just me that's dealing with higher costs because, I mean, look at the state. <laughs> there's a war. So gas prices have gone up 30% overnight. Doing more driving, that's 30% in trans increase in transportation costs just off the bat. So that's that. Um, her thing is, I am going to need a new vehicle soon. <laughs> I hate, I hate that. Um, Daryl, yay, figured out. I know Daryl, you, you've got, you got a lot, you, you got a lot in your mind. I understand. It's, it's a school day. I don't know, Daryl, are you teaching today, Daryl? Um, so, as far as, I guess, being married in housing and how how that affects, we both right now reside in very high cost of living areas, like the most expensive high cost the cost of living areas um, on the planet. So dealing with that and finding a way to mitigate those costs are is gonna be sort of forefront in our mind. Um, Danny Walker, do I feel pressure in being married? Um, how so? Not at all. Um, I would say I don't really feel pressure at all. I do feel that there's a lot of learning. Um, uh, there's a lot of learning that goes on as far as how to communicate with each other, how to handle communication with each other. Um, yes, Queens or New Jersey. So my best friend who's also a professor actually lives in um, in Long Island City, um, right on, she's on Cross Ave and I forget, I think she's Cross Street. Um, so right when you get off the, the bridge from the causeway and it is, it's gorgeous and really good seafood too. Um, probably not moving there. There's just nothing there for us. Lower down in New Jersey maybe, but if we're gonna be for the south of New Jersey, I'd rather just be in Delaware. Um, Rowan Helen, have you considered buying a house help? I have heard that idea before, to be honest. Yeah, Roland, uh, Daryl, are you working seven days a week? I hear you, I hear you, same, same, I'm right there with you. So have I considered buying a house hack um, <laughs> for like a year and then moving? Yes, uh, may, may, maybe, but to be honest, I am at the stage in my life and will be further on later where that's just not a viable option anymore. I just, we need privacy. Even being in a condo wouldn't be the greatest option for us. Um, I just couldn't imagine having someone else on the other side. It's like, um, so for my mom, we're thinking, just kind of wondering what she's going to do. And someone was like, well, you could, what about a roommate? And that's something we've thought about having a roommate for her. But we both like our autonomy in our space. So probably not. Does my spouse have a good banker? That is a very good question. Um, very interesting. He is he's great with money. He's um, he's got a numbers mind. He's an engineer by trade. Um, he does network administration. He's like a network architecting, administrating kind of stuff. Database warehouse stuff. So he's very math minded. Um, but yes, I agree. He does. He does. I actually should ask him about that. Um, he does have a good banker. I'll need to ask like specifics on that, but he's just mentioned that he knows a guy. So <laughs> I'll have to ask for more info on that. Um, Daryl, house hacking is one of the best ways to get started. I know you can do three to 5% down. Yes. Um, yes. And if I were single 20 years ago and had known about that, I actually I don't want to say single because I think as a single woman, 
um, I wouldn't necessarily choose that path. I know Sarah um, Wilson from Budget Girl is doing that or has done that. Um, she's got her old duplex diaries, but I think she's kind of had not issues, but she's had some ups and downs on that journey. But yes, house hacking or doing something as far as um, uh, as far as housing to kind of hack the housing structure would be awesome. That's my goal. Um, Daryl, yes, houses on one piece of land would give you privacy. Oh my gosh, that is again. That's that's the dream. Oh, I just think about it. I'm like, oh, that's just. <laughs> That's what my heart longs for. Yes, two houses. That'd actually be interesting um, because we're we both have parents, and I mean, my my dream would be to have like a big plot of land and then to, to build a main house and then two smaller houses on there um, for the parents. I think that'd be awesome. Danny Walker, how about Long Island? So my husband's actually from Long Island. He grew up on on the island. Um, his dad is a priest who retired priest now, who um, worked in Long Island and Queens actually for his whole life. So he was born in Belport um, and that's where he grew up. So very modest upbringing, modest like middle-class upbringing. His parents are both immigrants. Um, my dad was an immigrant. So we've actually been to Long Island a lot. Kind of he showed me around his like his childhood haunts. Uh, and that's great. I don't know that we would move there. It's interesting because he was actually looking at um, a job out there in, in Manhasset. So maybe, who knows, who knows? Uh, right, right, go to Levittown or Massapequa. Yep, yep, for sure. Um, maybe further out, South Shore is great. Yep, I've heard good things. Thing is, it's it's expensive, right? Like it's not, I mean, Delaware is as cheap as you're gonna get. I love it. It's so cheap. <laughs> so that's, that would be my goal, but who knows if he were to get an amazing job with an amazing salary out there, then sure, that would be, that would be great. Montauk. Yep. yep. Um, so who knows that, that could certainly be an option um, going forward. So at the moment, I think the biggest, I, don't, I adore Delaware. I adore that it's um, kind of out of the way. It's a little more secluded. It's, two hours from the city. It's two hours from DC, Maryland, um, New York City. We can do a day trip to Manhattan, to the city if we need to. I just love it. It's straight down the turnpike. It's just, I, I adore it. I love it so much. There are beaches, it's clean, it's quiet. Oh, it's, it's my favorite. Um, to me, it feels like a fresh start. It feels like something new. So that's just why I love Delaware. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to I'm going to endeavor not to get attached to anything. And I think that's probably the biggest lesson, the biggest takeaway that I've learned is to not be emotionally attached. I cannot afford an emotional attachment really to anything. So on the topic of housing, actually, this is interesting. So um, we've got two more minutes um, before I have to leave you guys. So I, on the topic of housing, am looking to downsize my New Jersey room. So this was the childhood home that I grew up in. After I worked abroad, I came back and I, I kind of, my mom and I joined forces in that home. So I, we've gone back and forth about what to do, but overall, I think my goal, my sort of direction is going to be to eliminate my footprint there, to down, greatly decrease my footprint in the New Jersey house and let, let my mom do whatever the heck she wants to. So I'm gonna get myself out of there go to live with my husband <laughs> so downsize Jersey and and head into Manhattan and that's going to be interesting because I have all of my childhood crap there and to be fair I've been kind of downsizing over the past couple of years so that shouldn't be a huge thing but I'm sure that there will be some things on there that are interesting so um so we'll see how that goes um but I also would like to document that on my second channel. If you guys didn't know, I have a second channel called Wallet Life and kind of show the process of decluttering and, and de sort of the, what's the word I'm looking for? The um, downsizing. So uh, Danny, what communities do you and your spouse like? Urban, Asian, CrossFit, what lifestyle links do you both want with your community? Interesting question. So I actually visited the YMCA. Yes, so fitness is very important to both of us. So I almost joined the Y this weekend. I didn't because I already joined um, New York Sports Club in Manhattan by the one um, in his building. 
So I'm like, all right, let me, let me cool it there because he's in Manhattan now. And that's the plan is to just stay there for the time being. Um, so I already joined that, but the Y would be huge. I grew up going to a Y and I, I love that. I think it's a great center. Um, the one, the Delaware Y, the Bear County, um, or the, the Y by his dad is like five minutes down the street, super convenient and gorgeous. I just, I have such good feelings for the Y. I used to work there in my first job. I worked there part-time um, out of college. So I love it. So fitness is huge. Um, faith is also important to both of us. So we lo- we've we been to churches here in Middletown, um, Delaware. So that's important. Important. Yep. So faith, fitness and and, um, and faith are both important to us. Um, yes, please. If you guys are watching and you haven't already, please like this video. That'd be huge. But that's a really good, good point, Danny, is um, lifestyle links to the community. So I guess an answer to that, we've, we've kind of already kind of developed them here in um, in Delaware, kind of, which is my goal because it's so cheap. Um, sports, I think would be important as we look to build a family, uh, sports for kids. Um, <laughs> Danny's really pushing Long Island. He's <laughs> like, I hear you. Okay, all right. <laughs> He'll be happy because again, he's looking at a, a job with a wine distributor that's out in Long Island. So he'll be happy um thank you to the two people that just like this stream as well um glen cove is beautiful get the beach overlooking connecticut all right all right i'll let him know he will be happy i was not happy with the idea of long island because it's pricey but uh, he'll be happy i will tell him this so with that i will leave you for today ideally my plan is to go live either wednesday or thursday or friday hopefully all three days, um, but look for more. I'll hope to give more notice too about when I'm going to go live. But thank you as always to you guys. You feel like you're my, my OGs. Um, thank you for watching so much and I will be back with you soon. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.